Hello, my name is Mark Johnson, and I'm the pastor at Bowsman Memorial United Church of Christ in Wymissing, Pennsylvania. I'm here to share with you another reflection for today. Uh, from time to time, I get asked from people, uh, what's heaven like? Does the New Testament have anything to say about heaven? And of course, it does have several things to say. I won't have time to go over everything, uh, but I want to lift up a few things. There are a few images or pictures that I think are are helpful and relevant at least for me and maybe for you as well. The first one that comes to my mind is found in Revelation and um, there in the middle of uh, a myriad, a myriad amount of people, which is innumerable, many, 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 many people, many angels, is the throne of God and the Lamb of God is sitting on the throne and the people are praising and worshiping God and uh, bowing down and throwing their crowns to Him. and. Um, so this is one of the images that we have, and what I really like about it is that it speaks of heaven with a myriad amount of people. As I said before, a myriad amount of people is an innumerable amount. It's an it's a, it's a outrageously high amount. Their, their heaven is not for the few. The work of Jesus Christ in the world uh, has a great impact on a myriad amount of people. And so that's one of the things that I like about that um, scripture from Revelation, that heaven is for the many and not for the few. Another thing that I like about, um, another image comes from the gospel, the great wedding feast table, the banquet, um, the wedding feast where Jesus is the head and the host. And if you picture one of these big long tables with fine silverware and food and drink covering the whole table, with uh, people sitting around it, um, celebrating, having a good time. And uh, one of the things that uh, I could see where people like this image, especially people who are hungering and thirsting in life right in now, uh, the hope that heaven will one day be different. Um, I'm not in that boat. Uh, I was born into the have world. Uh, but this image, although it doesn't encourage me like that, it challenges me. It challenges me to try and live in a way to uh, make sure there's seats at the table for, for people who are not like me, who have not been advantaged like me, and uh, so that they too can enjoy what I'm enjoying. And so I'm thinking of Jesus' words in the Lord's Prayer where he says uh, that it may be on earth as it is in heaven. Um, that's part of the challenge, I think, to people like myself with that image of heaven in the great banquet hall to try and create space for, for others who are in a different place than I am in this world. Another image that comes to me is found also in the Gospel lessons where some Sadducees, people who do not believe in the resurrection of the dead or in heaven, they come to Jesus and they say, this man with four brothers marries a woman and uh, he dies and then uh, all four brothers end up marrying her but there are no heirs. There are no children, no sons. And so they say to Jesus, well, uh, in heaven, um, who is she married to? Because she was married to all five of the brothers. Uh, thinking, their thinking is that heaven is going to be like it is here on earth. And Jesus says, no, it's not like that at all. We're more like angels. And um, while I'm glad it affirms that there is, uh, we have Jesus affirming there is life after this world, uh, it also lifts up some of the limitations that we have um, with these pictures and images of heaven that we just can't assume it's going to be like it is uh, here on earth, that it's going to be different. There's going to be uh, things that we don't know. Um, are dogs going to go to heaven and pets go to heaven? Are we going to know our friends and family in heaven? These are questions that you and I would love to hear the answer, yes, but um, with but images like this of heaven, we're just, we just don't know. Um, that's my hope and prayer. But as I look in the scriptures, I just don't see where, where we can answer yes on these things. Uh, so in some ways, these images of heaven are frustrating and limiting because they don't give us everything we want to hear. But all of them affirm that there is life in the world to come. Another image, there are two more that I want to lift up today. Another image comes from Hebrews and it's the great cloud of witnesses, the uh, superstars of the faith that are recorded in the scriptures, that are recorded in the church history books. Um, 
These are people up there, but also people you and I know, common, ordinary uh, people who don't make the the superstar uh, list, um, people that in our families and friends have gone on, they've run their race, they've trusted in Jesus, and now they're a great cloud of witnesses watching and cheering us on as we live our lives. And that's one of the things I really appreciate about that um, image from Hebrews, uh, that they're they're watching me and they're watching you and they're hoping we continue to run this life of faith and hope and love in a good way until our days are done. So I like that image of heaven for that from Hebrews. The last one I want to bring up comes from John. Jesus has gathered his disciples together for one last meal before he goes to his hour of glory on the cross as a sacrificial lamb for the world. And um, he says, in my father's house, there are many rooms. If I go and prepare a place for you, uh, I will come back so that where I am, you may be also. And so this is really the last one that I want to lift up today, that, that in the image of uh, heaven as a place where our heavenly father has a mansion with many rooms in it, and one with your and my name on it, and our friends and loved ones who have gone on before us, who have hoped and trusted in, in Jesus. Um, that we have, we will be in God's presence, that we will be in a community of faith in some way. Will we know one another? That's my hope and prayer, and many people, I'm sure, is hope and prayer. Uh, but if not, we're going to be in God's presence like angels, and, and uh, I just think that's a wonderful thing. And so we catch some glimpses from these passages in the New Testament about what heaven is like. Maybe it's not everything we wanted, but each and every one of them and a few others that I didn't lift up, they all affirm the belief that there is more in this world uh, than what happens in this world, that there's a life beyond this world. And we give thanks to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, for, for us as Christians who believe he's provided that for us. May God bless you and help you run the race of life and faith, and may you be comforted by the hope that we have life in this world and in the life in the world to come. And in Jesus' name, amen.